Hello, very good evening. This is Dr. Dushan Bhatti. Um, in today's tip, basically, we're going to learn about step snap in Maya, which basically allows us to control how much movement we do uh, with respect to values, and it snaps to exact rounded number. If that makes a sense. Uh, in other words, whenever we translate an object, for example, if I have this object available, and if I translate it, we always translate, it and you would find that the values are in zero, zero, zero. So if in X it's a zero, zero, zero. And why is it 0 0.559 and sorry, not 0, 0 in fractions. Similarly, in this one, we get fractions as well. If you rotate, you will find that it's minus 21.2777 values. Um, so the numbers are always uh, very, very, very uh, minute to the three decimal values that Maya uses by default. Um, sometimes it's okay as long as we have an object in terms of modeling and we align it accurately. But most of the time, we come across the situations where we need to align these objects exactly accurately. <clears throat> and we need to control the values, how much it is being translated and rotated, especially in animation. So, um, in order to control that, we use something called step snap. Uh, and in, uh, to do that, uh, we select a tool that you want to do, for example, translate. Uh, double click on this. Again, this is another tip not, not people know. Uh, if you double click on any tool, uh, basically, its tool settings would appear. And that applies for any tool that is you're using. So, if you go on here and if I double click on this, the tool settings for that particular option would be available. Uh, if I double click on this, the tool settings for option and any tool that you use, uh, if you double click on them, on, whether it's on a shelf or whether it's in Maya's toolbox or anywhere else, um, double click basically enables uh, the tool settings for that particular tool. So, um, another tip, right? So, uh, we go into translate, double click on that and the translate tool settings appear. Basically, yes, we can control certain settings of the translate from soft selection to symmetry. We will be talking about that, these two tips in next few tips and tutorial next sections, I guess, and I've talked about them previously as well. Uh, anyway, so once you are in here, what you need to do is you need to come into step snap, right? And take uh, check the relative option. Now, this is what we're talking about in this particular lesson. Step snap. Step snap basically allows you to control uh, how much object translates every time you try to use the manipulator so in my case i've set it to five for the random for certain other purpose it just remembers the previous value this means that now when i move in y-axis it would always move five units let me zoom out and then show you right it always moves five units either i'm in doing in y-axis either i'm in going in x-axis it always moves exactly five units and if you check in your channel box it will tell you five units ahead next motion 10 units five units sorry in this case again 10 units similarly and 10 15 units so every time you move it will move exactly five units with every push of a button this guy is going to go five units ahead and then similarly obviously if you find this is too much you can crank it down to one now it means every time you move it is moving one unit ahead and you can check this value here so what it renders into is, is a, it renders into a very nice clean um, channel box that you can use and you have more control over the attributes or in how much distance the object is moving and especially if you are using an architectural and you want to place objects in a fixed locality in a grid points uh, you can control how much each object is moving uh, based on the snapping settings if you are using animation for that purpose again this can be a huge help where you're controlling how much each motion is moving or how much each controller or object is moving uh, in its units i will give you few more examples so, uh, for example, if I go into rotate, again, if this toolbox is not available, just double click on the rotate icon, this would, uh, the tool settings would appear, or obviously you can go into the root tool settings icon here, this would enable or disable the tool settings window. Uh, once here, again, the rotate also has something called step, step, uh, snap, step, snap, right? If you enable this uh, relatively mode, again, this now means that whenever I try to rotate, it will always rotate an exact number, exact one rotation. And if I just control Z that, if I again turn this off, what this would mean that it's just going into decimal values to up to three fraction number. So it's just rotating 0.843.689. Sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's just very, very long numbers to look at. And if you're animating and working with graphs, editors, and these small decimal values can create a headache. Basically, what this now, uh, what you can do is alternatively is you can come into your rotate tools very quickly, step, snap, come into it, turn it, click on this arrow icon, ensure this is in a relative mode uh, and then you can just choose it to for example one what this will mean that it is always snapping to one values or you can for example i think you can do it 0.5 as well yes so what this will mean that it's always snapping to 0.5 values and you will always have a cleaner rotation values that you can uh, work with and then at the certain level for example if i crank it up to 
every time you rotate it's going to rotate in two degrees so from 85 it's going into 80, 107 109 you can find this if i just move it slowly it's just rotating two degrees every single time and then if i just for example use five degree rotation and move this guy back to zero degrees so that i can see this five degree rotation more appropriately you can see this now 35 40 45 50 and so on and so forth so every time you rotate now it is rotating five degrees um, so it's it's a, it's a certainly a useful tip that people um, sometimes know sometimes don't use it uh, but it's very useful especially for example if you are animating a character and you need a walk cycle and you are moving walking a character each distance so a left left leg right leg has to go for example 10 units every time they are stepping uh, for every walk so left leg 10 units right leg 10 units then 10 then 10 then 10 then 10 um, you have to eyeball that manually every time but if you set it to a strap step relatively and for example you set it to 10 units now this basically means that every time you hit translate you would know that this pen has moved 10 units from its previous point next step the every object obviously because this has been applied on a tool every object you select is going to move the same way 10 units so you can control that you know it becomes a lot easy especially in a walk cycle that you 10 units one step 10 in second step keyframe and then 10 units next time 10 units next time keyframe 10 units so you every time you move you know this exactly it's moving 10 units this goes for anything that you are trying to animate whether it's a door whether it's a pencil, whether it's a car, whether it's a flying object or a ship, you can control that with how much exactly it moves every time you try to move it. Uh, it should have a snapping value 1 or 5 or 10 or even 50. Uh, it becomes a lot easier. Obviously, um, you can use this value as well, but uh, um, using a step step means that if it's something is moving continuously, you can control exactly how much they are moving with respect to distance and time. So, um, do get into this. Try to use this. Um, let me know below, down below in the comments. Please do comment, leave your feedback. Tell me how you have been using this steps uh, tool. If you have been using this, if you find it useful or not, and what other, what other scenarios you can use it to so that we can get a certain other help and ideas of these uh, certain tips. Along with other tips that I have shared, do go into that. Please do leave a comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do subscribe. Hit that red button down below and check that bell icon so that you get uh, latest notifications to that. So uh, this is Dr. Shan Bidli. Uh, from the Shan Academy. Thank you very much. See you around. Fear Allah.